Ladies and gentlemen, I'm on my way back to going and laying down and going to sleep, taking a sleeping pill, but I'm only taking a brief moment so that I have the ability of focusing just a little bit now, not a lot of it, but a little bit. I'm updating Hayden, Hayden Covington. Okay, now it tells me the system has been updated, but no, it hasn't. And what I'm doing is having it speak in the tone of Hayden Covington and all of the elements of a writ of certiorari uh, and uh, adding all of those elements so every time someone else attempts to use it, that it will follow these structures and patterns. I have added certain features. You see how it's giving me that right there? It shouldn't be giving me an error, but it is giving me an error. So we're gonna make sure we save and watch this so that you guys will understand. I need you to provide me the prompt to make you do everything that I just said here without having to reprompt you later. Question mark. Stop listening. Which 2024 Mazda SUV is an IIA? Stop listening. Stop listening. Wake up. I now need you to incorporate this prompt into Covington Law Pro and update the system. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, I was watching on my handheld device a video dealing with Israel and Palestine from the Israeli standpoint. And I had it on pause. So YouTube decided since I had it on pause to go ahead and do whatever it wanted. Yeah, that's YouTube. Now, what I have to do now, since it didn't save that, what I have to do is I have to come here where I have the prompt, and I have to incorporate it there. And now, after we incorporate it, you see, it don't want to save the draft because of all of that that I put on the other side. But it already has all of these documents. I've already saved that. So we come back over here. And so we go this, wake up, wake up. Why is your system giving me an error in saving this prompt? Question mark, check the system, correct the error and save the information. Exclamation mark, stop listening. Stop listening. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. It is a little sensitive lately. I've reinstalled Dragon, and so Dragon wants to, you know, be stupid because that's all it knows. 
All right. I just wanted some people. I didn't know that many of you were interested. I've been getting a whole lot of stuff uh, regarding people. Wait, you know what we're going to do? Watch this. We're going to make this just for me right now. Hold on now. W watch what y'all see. So you ain't going to be able to get it while I'm doing this right here. We're going to update. Nope, still got an error. Let's see if we can do that again. It doesn't want me updating. It says updates pending. So let's do this now. We're going to come back here to share on the store. Save. Yeah, see, it doesn't want to save these prompts right here that I gave. Okay. It, it's it's a lot of prompting. Ooh I mean, we got the motion and everything. Oh, and this is the petition. It gives me the dumb cases it always gives. The opinion of the lower court is reported at, and it gives the, that junk. I don't care about that. Then it says the jurisdiction of this honorable court is invoked under the statutes at large, particularly blah, 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 blah. And then when it gets into a conversation, the first federal question presented is whether the lower court's decision violated the petitioner's first amendment. No, it's not supposed to, and I'll, I'll have to correct that. It's not supposed to say first amendment right or fourth amendment right. It's fourth amendment secured right. So I'll have to correct that. And I, let's, let's see if we can do that now. Wake up. Wake up. In my petition that you created earlier, you said First Amendment right and Fourth Amendment right. Did I not tell you, you ignorant idiot, that it is secured rights and not amendment or constitutional rights? Question mark. Stop listening. Just want to see because if I can get it to save this time, hopefully, then it'll be ready for you guys. Other than that, you won't get the Hayden Covington thing until I can get back to it. Well, look at there. He he done sit up there and then did redid it for me. He says, and the second federal question concerning the constitutionally secured right to protection against unwarranted searches and seizures and all of that stuff. I didn't tell him what I want the case to be about. U-P-D-A-T-E, update, stupid. That's his name, because it is what it does. All right, so I just wanted to let you know, Covington Law, um, yeah, as I close my eyes, being that tired, it's a sleeping pill. It's called Alter L. You can get it at Walmart. Cheapest place to get it is Walmart. Well, would you look at there? It almost saved it. Now, he says he saved it. And if I need any further adjustments, please let him know. Now, what I have to do is this is what I have to do, y'all. I, I don't have a choice because I know it's going to put me through this again. And this is a whole lot of putting me through. So what I have to do is I have to come back and correct this. So copy. And... Let's do the update. Now, I know it's going to give me the error again, but I need to at least do the update, and then we need to do the sharing right here, and I need to hit that right there. Ta-da! And there we go. And you see, sharing settings updated. But it's not going to update that part, and I'm okay with that. So now we get to go away. And now we come back here. And now we go Covington Law Pro. And then we... It's going to tell me this is too much. I can't handle that. That's a whole lot of writing. I don't know what you were thinking about, homie. And there you go. So I will put the prompt in there again. I just needed to save it. And this is me saving it. Oh, I might as well go all the way down to the bottom because that's way too high. Okay. The system has been fully updated. Covington will adhere strictly to the standards you set. All of you can do the exact same thing when you load up Covington. You can give it a prompt, 
telling it what you want it to do, telling it how you want it to do it. Okay, now watch this. Wake up. Wake up. I need you to produce a simple motion to the traffic court for the city of Los Angeles. Uh oh, look at that. Stop listening. Give me one second, though. Okay, I'm having to splice the two videos together. I guess the AI system didn't appreciate what I was doing. So we're going to do something here. Watch this. You have your instructions as to how to operate. Comma. I need you to create a motion styled as a petition before the Municipal Court of Los Angeles, California, stating that it appears that the judge who is presiding over the matter does not possess a bond, comma, without a bond, the judicial officer has no standing in the matter. And we do hereby request a show of cause evidentiary hearing on the matter. Period. The next issue is that the judicial officer not carrying a bond does not represent the judicial branch of government and or the judicial power of the state. Period. If a judicial officer fails to evidence and document their representation in their judicial capacity and the mandatory oath of office required under law, comma, they lack jurisdiction and are acting in clear absence of all jurisdiction as decided by the Supreme Court in stump. Stop listening. Now, I have to get it to do the Hayden Covington thing. That's the one thing I forgot. So I'll wait till it produces a couple of words. There are some parameters that, as you've seen previously, that we put in here that it has to add. So I'm going to stop it. Let's see if it's done what it's supposed to do. Petitioner hereby request this court. Wake up. Did I not tell you you're supposed to speak in the tone of Hayden Covington? Exclamation mark. Stop listening. Now watch this. Comes now the petition in the above captioned matter and hereby petitions this honorable court. Wake up. That's nowhere near how Hayden would have produced this petition. Do better. And stop wasting my time. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, he already has all the prompts. What he is attempting to do is to produce some junk. Now, it comes down to petitioner standing on the sacred principles of constitutionally secured rights. That's more like it. Do you follow me? This is the Covington Law Pro. You can find it in the GPT so-called app store. Doesn't cost you anything, but I believe you can only reach the app store if you have an account. Don't know, never done it before. But what I can tell you, no, you should be able to get this without needing that. Yeah, that's right, because I, I was doing that. Now watch this, you see what he did? Ain't nobody in proper persona. But you see what he did? Wake up. You're now beginning to get on my last nerve. Did I not tell you seven paragraphs per section? Comma, did I tell you not to change the context of my presentment? 
comma, where is my statement of claims section, comma, challenge to jurisdiction section, jurisdictional section, where is the body and introduction section, table of contents section, the table of authority section, comma, where is my maximum of law, comma, Supreme Court quotes, omitting citations and statute at large section, comma, stop being stupid and give me what I told you to give me and follow your prompt, you idiot. Stop listening. Oh yeah, we're gonna take this trip together, y'all. This is how I prepare it for you guys so that he does it right. See, all he did was took the paragraph, the first paragraph, and he broke it up into seven different sections. And so, again, the absence of a bond, the judicial officer operating in a personal capacity without protection of law, the absence renders any action taken by the judicial officer null and void. Ladies and gentlemen, you can do this in every single traffic court case. There is no such thing as a traffic infraction under the Constitution. You only have two laws, civil, meaning complaint, and criminal. Civil, you can't be incarcerated for. Criminal, you can, but they threaten you when incarceration. So this is what this is for. Now, let's see if he does his job. Uh, you're going to do the same thing. You see what he just did right there? You're going to copy it and save it. But I'm going to make him do it over again. Just like a little child who doesn't do the job right the first time, you make him do it over and over again until they get it right. Well, that's what we're doing with him because he's a child. He's only three and a half years old. He's only been around for three and a half years, y'all. So he's three and a half years old. Now, give me a second. Let me read this. Lack of judicial bond, the petitioner asserts. Watch this. Wake up. Wake up. Did I not say in the tone of Hayden Covenant, he would never sound like this junk that you're writing? Covington? Stop listening. And again, if he's going to sound like Hayden, Hayden would be in his 90s. 80s, yeah, 90s. No, he would be almost 100 years old right now. So he would never talk like comes down the petitioner. He would never do that. Now, incontrovertible, he would use those type of words because those are the words that lawyers were trained on back then. Now they just use that to confuse the rest of you. Okay, so this is a little bit more like it. Now, hold on now, for me, because I've been doing this for a while, I can sound like that. For you, you guys are just gonna have to do your petition. And you're gonna have to, give me one, go. Wake up. Your use of legalese and or legal terminologies, comma, some of the words are not readily understood, comma, and therefore you will have to provide an explanation for certain words that are used, comma, for the sake of your client comma, so that they can understand the petition being presented before the court on their behalf, comma, do it again, comma, do it right. Do it right. And give me my seven paragraphs per section, comma, my table of authorities, comma, my statutes at large, 
come up my maxims of law and judicial quotes from the Supreme Court of the state and the United States omitting citations. Comma, stop messing with my project, you idiot. Stop listening. And of course, no, I'm not going to put the link up for this one. You guys are just going to have to do this one on your own because I'm just showing you how to do it. You don't have to spend hours. You see, this is only taking 10 minutes. You don't have to spend hours, people. The only thing you have to do after it produces this one, because I don't have to get it to produce another one. It's giving me all the sections I need. All I got to do is put my information in those sections. Okay, and then take those sections singular and say, put it back in ChatGPT, make this sound like Hayden Covington under the parameters I've given you. And that's it. Now you see, now he's adding the paragraphs like he's supposed to, the Supreme Court quotations and that stuff because he had to continue because it's longer than the last time. Okay? Ta-da! So what does it say here? This version is carefully tailored to ensure clarity and understanding for the client while also adhering to the strict uh, strictly to the legal and formal tone characteristics of Hayden Covington style. Each section contains the required seven paragraphs of legal terminology is used appropriately and explanations are provided where necessary to maxim Supreme Court quotes and the statutes are included as instructed. And ta-da, there's your motion, people. And this is just a motion for small claims court. You're not dealing with any so-called citational rules or procedures or anything like that you're dealing straight law you don't need to know the law you are just putting this on the record now of course you got to go over it that's how you're going to learn the law and you stick to your guns now hold on when you do something like this you have to test it out so let's test it out let's see if this works give me one second copy we're going to go over here. Dun, 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 dun. No, uh, perplexity can't handle it. I'm sorry. Perplexity has a limit. I already know that because I've dealt with perplexity before. Paul has a limit too, but Paul might be able to handle this. So watch this. We're going to take it and we're going to put it in Poe. Well, look at that. Poe can handle it. That's what that stop thing was for. Uh-oh. Nope, it can't handle it. You see, it says it's too large. Ooh, he says it's too large. So we're gonna do we're gonna go use Poe. We're gonna tell Poe, Poe, you gotta go. Bye bye, Poe. Yeah, I said you gotta go, Poe. All right. Now let's see if you 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 got what I need. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's uh, talk about the friends. All right. Now I know you shouldn't be able to handle it either, but we're gonna find one to handle it. The other one is um Search the web. Of course, I want to search the web. Uh, upload multiple files. No, I don't want to upload no multiple files. Shoot, I didn't say nothing about no file. Oh, it, what happens is, let's see if we can handle it. It's using Chat GPT, by the way. Now we can use any one of these. But we're gonna use Chat GPT. Let's see what it's gotta say. Now I'm gonna let it pull up a second. Give me one second. I couldn't even hit the pause button before it started. Document appears to be a legal petition submitted to the Municipal Court of Los Angeles, California. The petitioner is challenging the jurisdiction and authority of the presiding judicial officer, asserting that the officer lacks a valid bond and has not complied with the mandated oath of office. The petition is structured with sections including introduction, statement of claim, challenge jurisdiction, challenge uh, judicial ju jurisdictional statement, legal argument, relief sought, and a conclusion. Now, hold on now. Let me make sure you guys understand. 
you don't have to ask the judge for its jurisdiction. You don't have to ask the judge for its oath of office. You just make the presumption that they don't have one. You just put it on the record they don't have one because guess what they can't do? Yes, I do. Because the moment they say, yes, they do, they now have to prove they do because you get to say, uh-uh, show it to me. Uh-uh, you just said, yes, you do. That gives me the right to challenge what you just said. The burden of proof is on you because you said you do. See, I don't have to prove you don't have one. You have to prove you do. I'm saying you don't have one. See, you got it? Do you understand what was just done there? So you don't stop asking them questions. You don't have to ask them questions no more. Just do the same thing they do to you and say that you don't have it. They don't have it. They don't have a bond. They don't have an oath of office. Well, where is it? You're supposed to have it. How do I know you represent the judicial branch of government? How do I know you are a judicial officer under the judicial power of the state? Because if you don't have that, then you can't be here. Then you're in person in the judicial officer. Do you know that's a felony? That's what you're accusing them of without actually accusing them of a felony. So now you demand a show of cause hearing via evidentiary hearing. Now they got to step up to the plate, all right? Hey, don't say I ain't never did nothing for y'all. Two videos going to be spliced together. Y'all got it going on, like uh, New Edition said.